So, welcome! This is not Medieval 2, this is Rome Total War, uh, one of my favorite games ever, and um, as I've, I've spoken a lot of times in my, in my channel, I want to have all of... Uh, uh, I want to have Let's Play of all uh, Total War games and Total War mods, so I'll be doing my favorite faction in Rome, which is the Germans, on very hard, very hard, of course. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's start it off. I think I'll have to skip the video because for some reason it doesn't work very well in uh, 1080p. So sorry about that. Yeah, let's start it off. Oh no, it's it's running perfectly. Before Good. My grandfather's grandfather was born. This was our land. These are good places. Our gods live here, in the trees and rivers. They watch over us. We are happy. We hunt. We love. We have families, homes, a good life. But sometimes we must fight. The Romans disturb the gods. They burn the forests. They take what is ours, wives, children, land. The Romans talk of how they will help us and protect us. They put us to sleep with golden promises. When we wake, all we had is gone, stolen. They take our sons and turn them into little Romans. Ha! So we fight to keep what is ours. What must stay ours? There can be no peace. No peace with Romans, men of stone and iron and lies. There can be only war. Man, they're they're really mad at the Romans. Well, I, I would be too. So yeah, the first things about the faction, it's one of the most interesting, or it has one of the most interesting rosters. It has phalanxes, it has uh, good archers, it has good cavalry, and uh, all of those come a little bit late. Uh, well, except the phalanxes, it's the first. The spearmen work as a phalanx. But, um, yeah, they're quite good, in my opinion, they're quite good. So, um, we should first establish a good um, foothold. So I know there's a, a territory here and then another one here. Finally, I can see my mouse cursor. I know that it doesn't happen in medieval. I don't know why. Has something to do with the hardware settings. By the way, if you ever want to um, make the game more fluid, especially in battles, I'll give you a, uh, a handy tip. You either change the anti-aliasing or the resolution. Of course. I, why? Why is that? Because it's the, si the these two are the single most um, most important ones, in my opinion. Uh, I notice a huge effect in having no anti-aliasing. I can record a in 1080p with uh, with everything on max, uh, even on battles. There's no problem at all, even on large battles. So just give it a try if you want uh, and check it out. Yeah. So I know I gotta take a general with me. My faction leader will be do will be fine to take Bordeshall. And I'll take the rest and go to the other place. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna recruit some skirmisher warbands. These are not bad troops at all. Because especially early on, because they have a combat bon bonus in woods or snow, and they are fast moving. This is one of the things that uh, actually makes them good. But of course, you you might want to you want to switch to archers as soon as you can. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna build. Um, well, I don't want a meeting hall here. I'll probably want to keep upgrading to the arches in this town. So, either the roads, or the land clearance, or the trader, or the shrine. So, I'm going to do like this. This one is going to build land clearance. This one is going to build the land clearance. This town is going to build 
the shrine. Uh, by the way, about the shrines, you can check on the building browser to see the uh, effect on the long term. For example, this is uh, the wooden shrine is a, a good one for experience and to give you naked fanatics and gothic cavalry. While the secret uh, circle of Donar is good for berserkers. It's worse than the other one in minus one experience, but it's uh, it's generally good to get berserkers. They're quite good units. And the uh, Freja, that's why I'm going with it in the, in the beginning, it's because it has the population growth bonus, which is a huge problem in German uh, campaigns, because you can't grow fast enough. Growth is uh, super important. You can use some tricks, but this one is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build the shrines to Freja, and later on, when I'm I don't when I require more units and more specialized units, then I'll switch it up. We'll switch it up because you guys are playing with me. <laughs> so yep, shrine to Freja. Let's make sure. Our taxes are low. I really, 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 really want to increase that population growth as fast as I can. You know, low tax rates everywhere and stuff like that. So everyone is building, right? I'll build the units afterwards. I think I need one here. Another thing, you can see that the population is 1000, right? If I recruit this unit, which is 241 soldiers, my population decreases. Some people don't realize that. So, it, it actually happens at the, uh, the other way around as well. So, you can disband this army to get more troop, more um, men in the city. So you can micromanage it a bit. Right now I just wanted to go and conquer Vicus Gothi as soon as I can. Uh, yep. So this guy, the Germanic diplomat, I already know that the Britons are around here and I'm gonna engage them in the beginning. So I'm gonna send this guy down to talk to the Ger to the Gauls and the... Uh, uh, how's it called? The Romans. How could I forget the Romans? So, yeah. Let's join in forces. This force is gonna go to the river. That's it. And I'm gonna begin hostilities with the... Uh, with the Britons, because they usually start hostilities against me as well. So, what's the highest in population? Dame and Mogontiakun. So Mogontiakun is going to build another spear war. So probably I can send this one as well. Yeah, exactly. That's how it works. So these guys are going to conquer this this town and then move again to that place. Oh, he's 60 in age. God, this guy's going to die soon. Well, too bad. Mercenaries are quite expensive here. Barbarian cavalry mercenaries are quite good. They start with two experience here. It's not a bad unit at all. But yeah, we're gonna end turn for now. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I played this game. And turn, we're kinda broke, it's natural. It's gonna improve afterwards. Because we kinda need that population group to grow that population to grow really fast. Especially by having uh, these types of building built. Damn Mogontiakan is because Parkamani. So these guys are not gonna move. They're gonna stay there. And I'm gonna join in these armies. Yep. And the first fight we have is to assault Bordeshol. It's usually just two units of warbands. They have experience. Attention to this. They have experience. And that's why you gotta bring a general to this, to this fight. And don't mind if you lose the general because he's not gonna survive for long since he's 60 years old. I think they die at the age of 65 or something like that. 
Unless you kill them first, of course. But, so, don't worry about too, mu too much about... Uh, of course, don't risk it, but don't worry about it. If he dies, it's not a, not a huge deal. I've seen him survive a, uh, a little bit more in some places. Hmm, I'm still used to the controls from uh, Medieval, which kind of work differently in the, in the keyboard. This one would move like this, so sorry about it. <laughs> Okay, spear warbands, and let's go. Come on, let's move along, run, get your general behind, let's triple game speed. This is one of the worst things that happens, is this movement around the cities. I do, I don't know if there's any mod that covers that, if there is, please, uh, please tell me about it. Because it, it's quite annoying the way that the the units work around the cities. So now it's time to get into Phalanx Formation. And to get up that hill. So let's go. Phalanx are just... Or these Spear Warband are just dominators in the early time. You can see by this. Let me watch, uh, tell you. Come on. Oh, come on. Let me show you. Now, this is a good angle, isn't it? Here he comes. You can see that I haven't lost a single man and he's already down by 20. That's the thing about the phalanx. You see, oh, it's lagging quite a bit. And uh, now it's getting better. So yeah, you can see those guys getting slaughtered. I'll move this spear warband here to trap him. If you don't have the general close by, the, your guys might run. That's one thing. I don't know why, but they are quite weak in moral terms. You can notice that I'm not telling them to attack if you do so. They kind of move in a strange way. I think that's because of the god mode. But if you disable it, they don't work as well. At least not in a phalanx formation. So yeah. Let's just move them around. For example, if you ever want... Oh, I got the general. If you ever want, like, one of these guys to fall back, you just have to do it like this. And he will fall back into formation. I think so. Usually they do. Well, if he can pass their own spears, he can fall back. That's okay. As you can see, you can just abuse the spears to slaughter these guys initially. And you'll not lose too many troops. You'll lose like four or something. That's it. Get into them. Okay. Come on. It's also a good idea to send one phalanx from the back and another one from the front. But no need. Why for? He's gonna die. Okay. Run there. Always bear in mind that when you attack that way, for some reason, he doesn't obey the the phalanx formation for quite a long time. Now they're getting into phalanx formation. And he's losing his warbands. Come on. Let me just send a charge with this guy. Come on. You see that they are now engaging with swords. And then they get into the Oh, that's right. I had forgotten about this. Don't send them like that. Because they... For some reason, they face on the other side. I now need to charge to get them concentrated in mind. Now, if you do a halt, 
do a halt. Come on. Now we're facing what we want. Get away. This is still a spear warband. Run. You can just reposition if you want to push forward. You can just reposition them. Which is much better. Come on. Let's go. Come on, stop it. Face them. This is a huge bug that I don't know why it keeps happening. Can't remember. Really can't remember. Come on, I wasn't supposed to be losing so many units. Come on. That's it. Get back to it. That's it. Get back to that formation. Much better. If they are in the, the spear formation or in the phalanx formation, they can withstand more casualties. Or they can kill more enemies. For some reason, I can't remember. Is it the guard mode? some reason they just turn around when they are in the center square. But it only happens on... Weirdly, it only happens on barbarian cities. Come on, I just want to move you around. I could even attack with everyone and forget the phalanx. Just make them engage in melee, which they are still quite good. Yeah, much better. See, now they're really dying. Yeah. I now remember, I used to send the units from the back, uh, one phalanx from the back and one phalanx from the from the front because of that uh, bug. So, well, next time I'm gonna know it. Victory is the reward of warriors. One more town. I think this one already has a shrine to Freya. Something like that. Yeah. Kinda lost too many men. Oh, I forgot to show the, the score summary. Far better to have a stout heart always and suffer one's share of evils than to be ever fearing what may happen. Herodotus. Herodotus, I think that's how you say it in English. Okay, Bordeshon. Oh, I got a retinue. Occupy. No, I don't have anything. They only can recruit barbarians. Barbarian peasants, that is. What did I get? I got a famous warrior. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the most... Uh, uh, the unit with the most spearmen. Come on. They gotta, really gotta move against the Britons. This guy is gonna be here to check both the Gallus the Gauls and the Britons. My diplomat is gonna move down here. Here's the rebels. The reason I, uh, why I don't like to take this rebel settlement is it because like here is one way that he can attack me and if I take this settlement it's two to three ways. So I can, kinda don't like that. Can I move this guy? No. So everyone is moved. I don't know why they removed the movement points in um, in other games. What's going on, dude? Man! He's freaking out! Look at that! Come on, I'm gonna take you away. Nah! Now it's much better, right? Man. That was freaky. Uh, one more thing, because I kind of need to check it out. Financial. Am I going to lose too much money? 
Yep. So I gotta raise taxes, at least on the settlements they have. At least on this settlement. Yep. Normal tax rate. One thousand. And in this one. Yeah, that's it. So at least I can build some roads or something like that. Left turn. Okay, I can build some roads. Come on. War declared Carthage in the Greek cities. They are already at war. Forward. Unable to move. Chief. General. Forward. Out of moves. There we are. This is quite a new a good army. Let's check out where his huge stack is. Is it in on the navy? No, for some reason he's not here around. I gotta take some out of river. Okay, afterwards you're gonna go back in that place. Come on, diplomat. You gotta talk to the Gauls as soon as you can. Let's conquer Vicus Gothi. Reason why I bring some cavalry extra here is because he has cavalry in this one. Of course, I can pretty much win with just the spear warbands, but don't forget, just I've learned it the hard way. You should always bring a general with your army whenever possible, even if it means leaving your settlement unprotected or without any uh, any managing guy. Okay, start deployment. Screeches! You know, they're, these these are just the most annoying ones. Because of this. Come on, start screaming. <laughs> you know, it's always a pain. Come on, stop that. Group! Take off that phalanx. I think this is the best place to attack. Yeah, usually. Where's the second best place? Yeah. So we're gonna go from here. My cavalry is gonna go. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Okay. I go here. These. Screamers, gonna go here. Come on. No, I don't want the sword. Come on. Run. Screamers, start screaming. Gonna leave it on. Even if he charges with the cavalry, it's just. It's spear warbands, man. Let's go. I should maybe make a flank, but I kind of want my general and cavalry to be uh, on the back of my army, on my spearmen, so they feel more confident, like in this situation. Here we go. Come on. Remember that small trick? Do like this. And they get the spears. I just hit backspace. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Hit him. I'm losing too many spear warbands because he's not just a general. But this one is not a... Uh, a normal cavalry. Barbarian cavalry are, are... I don't know why they are called light cavalry. Okay, so he's not gonna regroup in time. 
and the screeches are actually good in this situation because they do some bonus against armored come on now it's much better charge the enemy warlord shows his worth nothing he's gonna continue in in charge and charge and charge and charge and I'll just do like this no problem at all Dead. Now he can drink with his ancestors and God, I don't know why this happens. Come on. Okay, so I gotta go from the back with someone. So I'm gonna just put these guys here. Take this away. And move these guys around. Come on. If anything, I'll send the screechers. The screamers. Oh, I accidentally changed that. These guys can withstand that charge almost perfectly. Come on, run. No, not through there. Through here. I don't know why he's doing that, but it's okay. That's annoying, right? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Come on. Run. Run. Where's my general? Come here. You can see that he's just losing troops for no reason. And now my... Spear wa what? That's what I hate. These guys have so low morale. You see? Remember I told you? Uh, it's okay. They're gonna. They're gonna come back. Let them start screaming a little bit. Come on! If they are not in the phalanx formation, you'll just rout like you see. A full unit or almost full unit. Come on, run back. These guys are winning. I just want to speed it up a little bit. Come on. This happens because for some reason when they are close to this area, it counts like they're backwards to the enemy. So they they get really uh, weak. Come on, do the phalanx. That's it. And now just move in. That's what I want. That's it. This is why I think the spears are so so overpowered, or these spearmen are so overpowered compared to the warbands, because they they just destroy every warband in no time. Let's take the disable the guard mode, so they can pursue as well. I think it's the guard mode, yeah. Well, here we go. We need fight no more. The enemy are in full flight. One more. At least it got yours. quite some experience. Mostly this be a war band. Casualties. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a nice start. I'll I don't have any problems with the money for now. Because I actually want my cities to grow. And I'll be taking some good cities for some loot. And then things will start to, to get up. Victory! Trade increase. Our land by conquest. Occupy settlement. Yeah, I got another star. It's good. This one already has the shrine. Uh, not Bad. Let's put it on low tax rate. So now I'm winning quite some more money. 
right? Yeah. See, as soon as you have these two, there's no problem. I'm just gonna... No, I'm gonna do like this. Okay, no problem. I'm gonna send these guys back to those... Come on. That's it. That's it. 115, 160, there's a guy there, yep, everything's cool. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.